with some numerical problems on triphase systems. Okay, so coming to first question, a balanced load of 9 minus J6 ohm per phase is connected in delta and is fed from a triphase 100 volt supply. Find the line current, power factor, total power, reactive volt ampere and total volt ampere. Okay, now or a total volt ampere is also known as total power. Okay, now coming to the impedance diagram. No, coming to the coming to the impedance triangle. Okay, so let me draw the impedance triangle first per phase. So this impedance is nine minus J six ohm. So nine ohm is on rail axis. That means the resistor is on rail axis. This half resistor is on rail axis, and next one is HC. HC is is six ohm. It says 6 ohm. Okay. This forms the impedance triangle per phase. This angle is 5. Okay. So this is Z per phase. Okay. So is what is Z phase? Z phase is given by Z phase is given by root of R square plus HZ square. That is root of 9 square plus 6 square. That gives root of 9 square plus 6 square. That is 10.81 ohm. This is equal to 10.81 ohm. Okay. So that is Z phase. Now, to find power, what is basically power? Power is equal to 3 times V phase I phase into cos y. So what you need to calculate? You need to calculate V phase and I phase. Okay. Now see this is a delta connection. Therefore V phase is equal to line voltage. Okay. So in generally in three phase systems line voltage will be given. Therefore V phase you can take it as hundred volt. V phase is hundred volt. V phase is 100 volt. Then, how to find the line current? In the case of delta connection, first you find the phase current. What is phase current? Phase current is phase current is phase voltage V phase by V phase by Z phase. What is V phase? V phase is 100. This 100 by 10.81. 100 by 10.81. What does that give? 100 by 10.81. Answer is 9.25 amperes. Okay. So phase current is 9.25 amperes. Now what is line current? Line current is root 3 times phase current. In the case of delta connection, line current is root 3 times phase current. What is it? And is equal to sixteen point zero one ampere. That is the line current. Sixteen point zero one ampere. That gives the line current. Line current is sixteen point zero one ampere. Now coming to power factor from the impedance triangle. What is cos y? Cos y is R by Z phase or R phase by Z phase. What is it? What is R? It is 9 by 10.81. 9 divided by 10.81. That gives what? 9 divided by 10.81 gives this 0 0.832. 0 0.83. Now, since it is RC circuit, power factor will be leading. 0 0.832 lead. Okay. So, power factor is. 0.83 leading. Now, how do you find the power? What is power? Power is equal to 3 times V phase, I phase, cos y. So, V phase is 100 volt, I phase is 9.25 ampere. So, it is 3 into 100 into 9.25 into what is cos y? 0.83. So, answer is 2303 watts. That is 2303. 0.25 watts. 0.25 
one. Okay, so we got power or total power. Now what is reactive power? Reactive power Q is given by three times V phase I phase sine phi. Three three times V phase I phase sine phi. What is it? That is equal to three into what is V phase? V phase is hundred into what is I phase? I phase is nine point two five into from the triangle, what is sine phi? Sine phi is opposite by hypotenuse. That is six by that is six divided by the surface. What is the surface? Ten divided by ten point eight one. The answer is one five four zero BAR. And this one five four zero volt ampere reactive. Okay. 1540 volt ampere reactive. That means from the impedance triangle you will get what? From the impedance triangle you will get sin phi. What is sin phi? Sin phi is uh, 6 by Z phase. What is this? Hc by Hc divided by Z phase. Okay. So from that what we get what we get is reactive power. Reactive power is 3 times V phase I phase sin phi. That is 1540 VAR. Now what is the total total volt ampere or total or uh, apparent power? Total V A is known as apparent power. So what is S? S is equal to three times V phase three times V phase I phase three times V phase I phase is the total power or total apparent power. So it is three into V phase is hundred into what is I phase into nine point two five. That is two seven seven five. 2, 7, 7, 5 volt ampere. Okay, it is 2, 7, 7, 5 volt ampere. Okay. Okay, so with that, this problem is over. To give a brief about this problem, yeah, this given that it is a balanced dot and the load is given as 9 minus J6 ohm. 9 minus J6 ohm means it is in the form R minus R minus JHC. R minus JHC. So first draw the impedance triangle. First draw the impedance triangle. So 9 ohm is on x axis. HC is at an angle minus 90 degree. So it's at an angle minus 90 degree. An angle minus 90 degree. Now, see, it is given that the load is connected in delta fashion. Okay. So before uh, finding uh, uh, in, in delta connection, what do we get? Phase voltage is equal to dyne voltage and line current is equal to root 3 times phase current. Okay. So generally what is power? Power is given by 3 times V phase I phase cross phi. Reactive, reactive VA is given by 3 times V phase I phase sin phi. And total volt ampere is given by 3 times V phase I phase. Now what is I phase? I phase is given by that means phase current is given by V phase by Z phase. Now you need to find the value of Z phase. What is Z phase? From the impedance triangle you will get Z phase as root of R square plus S A square. Okay, that gives 10.81 ohm. That is Z phase. Now, in the case of a delta connection, V phase is equal to line voltage itself. So, line voltage is given as 100 volt. So, phase voltage is also 100 volt. So, I phase is 100 by 10.81 ohm. That gives 9.25 ampere as phase current. Now, to find power, you need to find the power factor. So, from the impedance triangle, what is power factor? Power factor is R by Z phase. So, what is R? It is 9 by Z phase is 10.81. So, it is 0.83. Now, since it is an RC circuit, we can say that the power factor is leading. So, power factor is 0.83 lead. Now, next step is finding the line current. What is line current? Line current is root 3 times phase current. What is phase current? It is 9.25. So, multiply 9.25 by root 3, you will get 16.01 ampere. Now, what is power? Power is equal to 3 into V phase. What is V phase? 100. 100 into what is I phase? I phase is, uh, you got it as 9.25. So, it is 3 into 100 into 9.25 into cos 5. Okay. So, we will get power of 2303.25 watt. Similarly, a reactive power you will get just 3 times V phase I phase sin phi. That is 1540 volt ampere reactive VAR. Now, total volt ampere that is apparent power is given by 3 times V phase I phase. That is equal to 2775 volt ampere. Okay. So, that is a brief about the question. Okay. Now, going to the next question. Okay.
3 star connected impedances 8 minus j6 ohm per phase are connected across 3 phase 230 volt supply ok that means here we are getting line voltage 230 volt supply means line voltage is given as 230 volt find the line current total power factor total power relative volt ampere and total volt ampere ok now this also the it is also a case is similar only difference is we are having star connection ok so first draw the impedance triangle 8 minus j6 so it is 8 ohm is in rail axis and uh, 6 ohm comes at, min at minus 90 degree ok so this is is a phase this is r phase per phase means we are having r phase and hc phase by this given as is at 1 ok so impedance is in r minus jhc form so this is the angle phi so what is is at phase is at phase you will get it as root of 8 square plus 6 square 8 square plus 6 square that is is at phase what is it root of 8 square plus 6 square that is 10 ohm so its surface is 10 ohm 10 ohm so from here what is cos y cos y is r phase by is surface from the impedance triangle cos y is r phase by is surface what is r phase it is 8 ohm is surface is 10 ohm so cos y is 0 0.8 now since it is in the form of an RC circuit, it is pointed leading. Pointed lead. Okay. So you got the power factor also. Now, now you, you need to find what phase current and phase voltage. Now see in the case of uh, uh, in the case of any three-phase connection, unless specified, the given supply is a the given supply is line voltage. So line voltage is given as 230 volt and what is given as 230 volt in the case of uh, in the case of star connection what is phase voltage in the case of star connection phase voltage is line voltage by uh, root 3 what is it line voltage is 230 so it is 230 by root 3 230 divided by root 3 gives 132.79 volt it is or 132.8 volts 132.8 Words. That is line. That is phase voltage. Now, how to find phase current? What is I phase? I phase is basically phase current is given by what is per phase? That is V phase divided by E phase. Okay. I phase is given by V phase by E sub phase. What is V phase? This 132.8 divided by 10. Okay. This phase voltage is 132.8 divided by E sub phase is 10 ohm. So answer is 13.28 ampere. It is 13.28 ampere. 13.28 ampere. That is I phase. Okay. Now coming to power. What is power? Power is given by 3 times V phase I phase. 3 times V phase I phase cos y. What is 3 times V phase I phase cos y? It is 3 into 3 into 3 into V phase is 132.8 into what is I phase 13.13.28 into what is cos y 0.8. So answer is 4232. And that is 4232.6. 4232. 4232.6 watts. So we get active power as 4232.6 watts. 4232.6. Now what is reactive power? Reactive power is Q is equal to 3 times V phase I phase 3 times V phase I phase sin phi 3 times V phase I phase sin phi Ok So what is it? From the imbalance triangle What is sin phi? Sin phi is HC phase by sub phase Ok Or we can write sin phi as Sin phi you can write it as 6 by 10 That is 0.6 Ok sin phi is opposite side by hypotenuse that is 6 by 10 that is 0.6 therefore q, q you can write it as 3 into what is v phase v phase is 132.8 into 
what is i phase 13.28 into what is sin phi sin phi is 0.6 so the final answer is 3174.45 this 313174.45 volt ampere reactive this volt ampere reactive okay so you got active power and reactive power now what is total volt ampere total volt ampere is given by apparent power apparent power is given by s is equal to 3 times v phase i phase apparent power is given by 3 times v phase i phase what is it it is 3 into 3 into what is v phase v phase is 132.8 into what is i phase i phase is 13.28 so answer is 5290.75 5290 5290.75 volt ampere okay so with that i am ending with this lecture okay so in this lecture i have compared i have compared or i have done with first one is delta connection second one is star connection okay so i think you have understood okay now to give a brief about this question okay so yeah, basically we are having in this question, we are having star connected impedances. The star connected impedance is given by 8 minus J6 ohm. Okay. Now it is connected to a 3 phase 230 volt supply. That means line voltage is given as 230 volt. So how will you find phase voltage? Phase voltage in, in the case of uh, star connection is phase voltage is line voltage by rotary. Now coming to is uh, uh, now first draw the impedance triangle. So you have 8 ohm on 8 ohm on uh, 0 degree and HC phase at minus 90 degree. So it's minus 90 degree okay now find is surface what is the surface is surface is root of h square plus h square that gives 10 ohm that gives 10 ohm so first find power factor cos y cos y is r phase by is surface that is now that is 8 by 10 that is 0.8 now since this is, since the impedance is in the form r minus jhc power factor is leading so it is 0.8 lead now line voltage is given as 230 volt so what is phase voltage? Phase voltage is, is given by line voltage by rotor that is 132.8 volt. Now what is I phase? I phase is phase voltage by phase voltage by uh, impedance per phase. Impedance per phase is is a phase. That is a phase is given as that is you have found it as 10 ohm. So it is uh, 132.8 divided by 10. Answer is 13.28 ampere. Now you need to find active power, reactive power and apparent power. Active power is given by 3 times V phase, I phase, cos phi. V phase is 132.8, I phase is 13.28 ampere. Cos phi is 0.8. So from that you will get power. Power is 4232.6 watt. Now what is reactive power? Reactive power is 3 times V phase, I phase, sin phi. So from the impedance triangle, what is sin phi? Sin phi is Hc by E surface. That is 6 by 10. That is 0.6. So reactive power is given by 3174.45 volt ampere reactive. Now coming to total volt ampere or apparent power. Apparent power is given by 3 times V phase I phase. That is 5290.75 volt ampere. So thank you for watching this short lecture. Okay. And if and if you like the uh, like the lecture, please please give likes. Please view it uh, view it more than one times. And please subscribe the channel. Thank you.